This portion of the Canyon Stone how-to video will show you how to get started laying stone. What we're doing now is raking the mortar so that it creates more of a, a surface that will give a good bond between the stone and the skim coat. And what we've done here is laid out the stone in somewhat of a pattern. Uh, it'll make the installation easier, especially if it's your first time. You want to start with the corner pieces when you're applying the stone. You want to make sure that you get mortar on all the surfaces that are going to go against the wall. And you want to take care that you're pressing this, the mortar into the back of the stone. Get about a quarter inch thick bed of mortar on the piece and then you want to go around each edge with your trowel to, to put a lip. What this is going to do is when it bonds to the wall it's going to help create suction and help hold the piece on. Now as Brian puts that on, he's taking care not to press too, too hard. He's pressing firm, but not so hard that it, it forces all the mortar out of the back of the stone. But you should have some mortar that, that squirts out around each piece all the way around so that you know you have a good solid fit. As Brian's laying the stone, he's taking care to keep about a half inch or a finger's width mortar joint uh, that can be altered, and if you take note that we've alternated the corners, you can see that if we ran all the stone, the long end or the short end, the same direction, you'd end up with a vertical line. Okay, when applying stone to an inside corner, as we have here, you want to do the inside piece first so that as you stand back from the street or the drive or wherever you are in your house, you don't see the seam run up the wall. So what this will do by applying it first, it will hide the seam and that will make more sense as we stick our next piece. Okay, in order to make this piece fit, as you can see, it's too long. So Brian's going to take a marker and mark the piece so that we can cut it. This is where the angle grinder comes in. For this step, you're going to want to have your safety glasses on. Uh, what Brian's going to do is cut on the line that he marked, and you'll note that he doesn't necessarily try to cut clear through the stone. He's going to score it, and then he can break it uh, on a solid surface, much like you might do with tile. Now once Brian cut the stone, he took the angle grinder and cleared the sharp edges. He's also checking now, you always want to put the cut edge away from sight. When Brian cut the piece, he left enough room so that he could keep his mortar joint on both ends and above. That pretty much takes care of laying the stone. There are just a few things that you will need to do to complete your project, so take a look at the grouting and cleanup video.